In this QDS video, you will learn how to start a new questionnaire and add a subject identifier. To start a new questionnaire in the Design Studio, go to File New from the main menu or you can just select the New File button. Go ahead and enter your file name in the file name box and then click Open. You will notice that there is a mostly empty window showing only a line for End of Elements. First, we're going to add the subject identifier question. To do this, we can go to Edit, Insert, or you can also use the Insert New Element Shortcut button, or even easier, you can just select the Data Element button on the Insert Element toolbar. You always use Data Elements for questions. In the text of question box, enter the text to be viewed on the screen. For this item, that would be subject ID. You can also use the word subject for your variable name and as well for your variable label. So you can just paste those in there. Those will be included in your exported data set. QDS does assume that you will have a unique identifier name subject. That's the default though that can be changed under Interview Options. When adding data elements, you will generally only enter information on the Data Element tab here or on the Response Set tab, the first and the last tabs. The intervening tabs can generally be ignored. Next, we're going to set the response type to number, as that's what we'll use for our unique identifier. And then we'll go to that last tab, the Response Set tab. We'll set the minimum value to 1,000 and the maximum value to 9,000. We'll also uncheck the special code options of Don't Know, Refused, and Not Applicable, as they would not be used for a subject identifier. Then you can click OK. Now you will see the subject ID element line in the element listing in black text. To learn how to add additional types of questions and information, see QDS Online Help or other Design Studio videos.